Now comes a red wine from my good friend Bruno Lagat. My my good friend Bruno who owes me cassoulet. He, every time he brings me a French wine, I bring you cassoulet. He never brings me cassoulet, even though cassoulet is like the, wasn't that the poor man's dish of France? Right? Yeah, no, nobody so, could afford it. It's a total brasserie. You want me to bring you some dish. cassoulet? I'll bring you some. Yeah, cassoulet. I mean I love cassoulet. I got some duck uh, marinating in my uh, refrigerator. Sweet. No, and it's fat. Now let me ask you a question about the sous vide thing. The sous vide is the is the vacuum cooked meat, right? Yeah. If well, you eat chicken in it, it, does it come out like totally plump and juicy? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I no, had it. It, it just it just it just uh, melts in your mouth. I'm pretty convinced that the restaurant Santa got that this stuff was from the sous vide. It, was well, just, it had not sh changed its shape. It was it was plump, juicy all the way through. It was cooked. It wasn't overcooked. It wasn't undercooked. It just was proper. Well, I had that just last yesterday in this restaurant I was telling you about in Redondo Beach that was phenomenal. But he didn't cook it sous vide, and it had a crispy skin. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, it's all you have to do to make really good food is pay attention. This most people don't understand. This one did not have a crispy skin. Now, this is fifty percent Grenache, mm -hmm. fifty percent Merlot. Mm -hmm. How bizarre is that? Mm -hmm. And you get it. You can taste that. It's from the south, right? Yeah, south of France. Um, Languedoc Roussillon. Yes, and you will see this wine uh, in um, uh, Vegas a lot because he is, you know, Vegas, all those fancy restaurants with their two, three, four hundred dollar bottles of wine, because of the recession, they've all cut back to wines where they can sell for sixty to seventy dollars. This is that kind of wine. And now they're banging on his doors to bring these wines in that are so good from France, and they can't buy, you know, from classified Bordeaux's. Well, they can't. No buy them. Before. Well, yeah, that's so true. Now they're looking for good French wines that they can afford, and this is this is there. This, this is, is it. Twenty five bucks on the shelf, fifteen ninety nine on a reorder price. And this is a serious wine. And I have this with a really good, mm. you know, prime rib. I have this oh, Grenache, blended with Merlot, particularly from the south, which is pretty rare. I mean, just growing Merlot down there is kind of bizarre. Uh, not actually not. They they grow quite a bit of Merlot down there in Cabernet. They grow everything they want. It actually, um, it's just putting it. They got a they got a broad palette of grapes to choose from. It's just figuring out how to blend them. So you come up with something like this for this kind of price, and this is spectacular. It's like the beginning is Grenache, and then the middle is kind of the blend, and then the end is Merlot. Mm. I love it. That's delicious. I'm doing a ninety-five on that too. Me too. Yeah. I'm tired. Elicio, two thousand ten. Elicio. Elicio. So when you guys go to uh, Vegas and you know, you're hanging out, you know, the Palazzo or something, and the guy brings you this wine list and says Elysio Grenache Merlot, and it says $60 a bottle, you go, hey, I can get it for $15.99 at one of them. 